Welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today we finally get to do our Mobile One versus Amsoil segment here. Uh, we're gonna be doing our bench tests and then we'll be talking about the uh, 79cc engines that we've got. Now, I did run those and I'm gonna explain it a little bit different because I, I didn't know what I was gonna do until I actually did it. Uh, with getting used oil, I ran them on high for five hours. From what I can hear and a little bit of math that I did, it sounds like from high to idle is about three times. So I was running them three times as fast as they would have been if they were sitting on idle. Now, granted, neither of the engines were under load, but I was able to get some used oil after five hours of high. That would be equivalent to running them on idle for around 15 hours, and the instructions say once a year or every 20 hours. Now, again, that's probably 20 hours of actual like working, you know, spinning something, and these are just, they're basically just idling, you know, there's nothing attached to the uh, cranks or anything like that. So they've just been sitting on high for five hours by themselves, but we did get some coloration change on the oil, uh, did give it some time to break down a little bit. So this would be equivalent to like if your engine was about halfway through its life expectancy, maybe a little bit less than halfway, and so we'll see how well they've broken down over the exact same amount of time. Now there is gonna be quite a lot of testing because I've got new at hot room temperature and cold for each test, and then used hot room temperature and cold for each test, and then double for this guy. So there's actually gonna be 12 different uh, cups of oil. So I had to buy some Tupperware here so I had uh, new, hot, room, and cold, and then used, hot, room, and cold, and then again for the AMSOIL. So I'm gonna be going over a little bit more of the specifics on this one, but from here on out, when I do these bench tests and some of these other tests, they won't be as specific. So again, if, if you don't watch this first one, it may be a little bit confusing in the, in the series from here on out. Because I don't wanna spend a lot of time talking. I wanna do the bench tests, I wanna do the engine tests, and I, I wanna get the information put down on our Excel sheet so that we can start to see oil side by side. So as always, I'm gonna try my best to read through the comment section, reply to everybody. If these aren't the two oils that you use, or if you've had bad experiences with these, or if you want me to try uh, different oils, put all of your thoughts and uh, comments down there so that I can read them and I'll do my best to reply and uh, so that everybody can see what people have been trying and what their experiences have been. So without further ado, let's get the new oil separated into cups. Um, through the magic of editing, you'll see these uh, right after another. I'm gonna be doing them completely out of order today because it's gonna be kind of a pain to clean this up every time. So I'll basically be doing all of Mobile One new, all of Amsoil new, all of Mobile One used, and all of Amsoil used, but it will be all edited together, so it'll be a little bit easier for everyone to follow. But for me, it's gonna be recorded out of order. So I'm gonna start by getting the two 79cc engines. Uh, we're gonna pop the drain plug off. We're gonna start draining those. I'm gonna show everybody how we are gonna be doing that, and then I'll get the new ones uh, everything put away in the freezer and stuff like that. Oh, so that was the other thing I was gonna go over. So on the hot side, I know that engine oil can get upwards of 200 and something degrees. Unfortunately, when you're talking about heating up engine oil in these little cheap plastic cups that I'm using and stuff like that, I'm a little bit worried about things getting a little too hot. So we're gonna be testing the oil at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So that'll be the high around 120 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, room temperature around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm gonna be freezing the oil to around negative five degrees Fahrenheit.
So before we get started on our testing, I just want to go over something real quick. So here on the right hand side, we have our Amsoil and here on the left, we have our Mobile One. And uh, so here's new and used. One thing I did notice is the Mobile One is just a tad darker to begin with, but it's actually a little bit lighter back here in the used oil than uh, the Mobile One. And again, looks don't really mean too much. It can look like this and be completely broken down and ruined. I don't know in what instance that would happen, but potentially the, the coloration could not mean very much, especially like some of these royal purples and, and the liquid molly where they actually use dyes. Well, it's gonna look darker even though nothing's really happened. So I just found it interesting that the Mobile One starts a smidge darker and then is actually lighter than the Amsoil, which is a little lighter and then has gone a little darker. So we're gonna get the ones that need to be cold in the freezer and the ones that need to be warm, we'll get start getting those warmed up and then we'll start our bench tests. All right, well, that was a huge mess. Um, there was so many things that went wrong for me, but hopefully we got the numbers correctly. So I want to go over a couple things. So it has been a couple days since I recorded the first little bit. Uh, I had to modify this guy right here. Uh, I had to cut this out so that we could actually access a little bit better so that I could clean it up in between oil tests. So it took me so long to reset things like that. I think I'm gonna back down from a couple of the temperature tests when it comes to like the surface tension and stuff like that, the surface tension actually doesn't matter. Uh, I went back through and looked at some footage before. I, I haven't edited this video yet uh, at the time I, I'm recording this, obviously. But uh, I went through and I looked at some of the surface tension and it seemed that the temperature actually didn't matter. And when I called up and talked to David, he said, yeah, temperature really wouldn't matter that much. So I think we're gonna be doing warm and cold temperatures, um, especially with like this gear transfer. Um, I'm shocked at how little the gears actually transfer oil up. I think it's because they don't, they mesh like this instead of actually meshing together. So I actually ended up having to spin it 50 times. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, two, 33, 34, 35, 46, 37, 48, 49, 50. Once I figured that out, uh, that's how I tested all of them. So from now on, I, I will be doing uh, 50 rotations of the handle and then putting the uh, paper towel through the top. That doesn't necessarily bring all the oil, all the, not all the gears are equally covered. In fact, that's you'll see that in the uh, test results here. So I'm gonna show the test results of what I did. I did everything this time, but I think the next time we do this, we aren't gonna be doing as many uh, uh, tests with the temperature because a lot of it doesn't really change very much. But the Lucas uh, tester, gear thing and the viscosity that definitely changes uh, with temperature so the next video we're gonna be blowing these things up I'm pretty excited to do that we'll be filling them up with oil running up to temperature draining the oil and then we'll just let them run the, the engines will be warm the oil will be warm so it'll flow right back out of the engine and whatever's left in there is what the engines has the engines will be tilted at the exact same angle to get the oil out and they will have the exact same uh, amount of time to, to drain so you'll see that I have the graph running right now. And the reason I have it running for so long is because I wanted to make sure that everybody saw everything. I might find a way to make it more public so that everybody can uh, just hop on somewhere and see it without having to dig through my videos. So until then, I appreciate everybody for watching. We'll see you next time when we go to blow those engines up.
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23.